Hey, what's up? This is Patrick from the National Film Society. We're living in some crazy times right now, a global pandemic, which is actually why I want to talk to you about why you should not call coronavirus the Chinese virus. There's a lot of fear and uncertainty with coronavirus right now. We're all hunkered down in our homes. People are losing their jobs. Hospitals are getting overcrowded. Businesses are closing. It's a lot to think about. And on top of that, some folks, including the president, have taken to calling coronavirus, aka COVID-19, the Chinese virus. Now, this rhetoric is very dangerous to Asian Americans and Asians around the world. Why? Asian Americans have a long history of facing racism and xenophobia in America. And one example can be seen in the film, Who Killed Vincent Chin? It's one of the best, most significant, most relevant Asian American films of all time. It's a documentary directed by Christine Choi and Renee Tajima Pena about Vincent Chin, who was a Chinese American man viciously murdered by two white American auto workers in Detroit in 1982. They brutally bashed his head in with a baseball bat and cracked his skull open. His skull was obviously fractured. There was brains laying on the street. The man was a goner. In the 1980s, there was a lot of anti-Japanese sentiment because American automakers were losing out to Japanese imports. The American auto industry and its army have targeted Japan as a major source of its problems. We are being shot at and shot up by the Japanese. People were losing jobs, people were scared. That led to a climate of tension, scapegoating, discrimination, and racism, and that led to violence. And of course, Vincent Chin wasn't even Japanese. He was Chinese American. Words matter. When you target a group of people, you create a world that's hostile to those people. Combine that with the right circumstances, and you're pretty much sitting on a time bomb. If we create these environments, then of course, history can and will repeat itself. Of course it did. No one is saying it didn't come from there. But this is about being aware and mindful that labeling stuff like this can lead to racial tensions and take us to a really, really dark place. Luckily, this has nothing to do with that at all. This isn't about political correctness, oversensitivity, identity, or even scoring points to get reelected in the next presidential election. To me, it's about intimidation, aggression, and people getting hurt. I've seen it, I've heard about it, it's happening to people I know. Not if we're kind and help each other. We're living in some strange times right now. So hopefully we can look out for one another and have a little bit more patience and empathy. Then maybe we can get through this pandemic together. Thanks, stay safe, and leave some toilet paper for the rest of us.